Hello guys, welcome to the first video in Android application development tutorial. I already have another two Android application development tutorial series. But now, many methods are deprecated. New APIs are available. So for getting more recent updates on Android platform, here I recreate the entire tutorial series for you. So if you have previous experience in Android, you can skip first two or three videos in this tutorial series. Then you can follow this tutorial series for getting the recent updates. And if you are a beginner in Android application development, you can start from the first video itself. So in the first video, uh, we can learn some introduction towards Android. So here I create a simple presentation that give you some simple introduction towards Android. So now we can start the presentation. Android is an operating system mainly for smartphones. But now you can find Android in your tab, television set, TV set of box, in your watches and even in your car. Android is a rich application framework that allows to develop innovative apps and games for your mobile devices. Android is not a programming language, it is an application framework. You can Now you can use two languages for Android application development. First one is Java and second one is Kotlin. Java is the official development language for Android, but in Google I.O. 2017, Google introduced another language called Kotlin as an official language for Android application development. Now we have two programming languages for Android app development, Java and Kotlin. In this tutorial series, we are going to use Java for the app development. So I am going to create another tutorial series in Kotlin. So in this tutorial series, we are going to use Java as programming language for Android application development. Android is developed by the Open Handset Alliance led by Google. Google is the owner of Android. Android uses Linux as its kernel. If you have if you have some experience in computer science, you you know that for an operating system, the base is the kernel. So for Android operating system, the base is Linux. Linux is an open source operating system. So here Android is also an open source operating system. Android is an open source operating system. Anyone can be an application developer and the tools needed for the app development is freely available on the web. There is no need to pay anything for to be an Android application developer. All the needed components are available on the web for free download. Android uses a special virtual machine for run your apps called the Dalvik virtual machine. We all know that when you compile a Java class, it will convert into a Java bytecode. So for executing that Java bytecode, we need some virtual machine. But in the case of Android, we need a special virtual machine called the Dalvik virtual machine. You can develop Android apps and make it available for users through Google Play Store. So Google Play is a website hosted by Google. So if you are an application developer, you can make apps and you can share, you can publish your apps through Google Play Store. You can earn money from your apps through the app purchases and by placing ads on your app. If your app have a significant amount of downloads and significant amount of daily or monthly active users, then you can earn decent amount of money from your application in Google Play Store. Every year, Google release a new version of Android. On the date of creation of this video, 
the latest version of Android is Android Oreo that is version 8.0 and API level 26. So this video is just a simple introduction towards Android application development. So from the next video onwards, we are going to start Android application development using Java. So for getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.